Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the video with Jimmy and Glitch Future. And in today's video, we are playing. We are going to be doing a Sonic the Hedgehog mainline game tier list. This video will be a two-part series because I will do the spin-off games in the future. Anyway, um, as I said, anyway. And um, this is my opinion, so don't go angry down there and say, Oh, this is the best game ever! Oh, how dare you rate that thing so high? It's so bad! Honestly, people who complain like that are just a bunch of losers who don't care about anybody but themselves and say that their opinion is the only one that matters and that everyone can go, like, jump. Anyway, let's get into it. Starting off with Sonic 1. It's pretty, it's not the best game. But it's also not the worst. It's all it's pretty good, but it's not super Sonic good. So I'm gonna give it a normal Sonic tier. Sonic 2, however, is honestly the same thing. Some people regard this as the best game in the series. I regard it as kind of the worse than Sonic 1. Not really, but kind of. Marvel's not underrated, not going. But yeah, Sonic 2, good game, not the best. But it's still pretty good. I'm gonna put CD right below them in Sinking Sonic because CD is just a bit overrated. I mean, I don't think it is overrated. I don't know, but it's not that good of a game, honestly. Um, it's over height from a little people. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, kind of the same thing. Super Sonic, it's a bit of overrated. It's not the best Sonic game of all time. Actually, I'm gonna move it down a tier to normal Sonic. I feel like these, these Sonic games are basically equal, and CD's like the middle child that nobody likes. And then we got Sonic 3D Blast. This is, um, Drowning Sonic. It's not that good of a game. Slippery controls, good levels. However, I hate that you have to collect flickies to win, I mean, the Japanese version of the game, I'm pretty sure, is called Flicky's Island. So, yeah, it, if you call this a spin-off game, something's wrong with you. Sonic Adventure Hypersonic. My favorite Sonic, personally, one of my favorite Sonic games. Not my favorite, but it's really good. It has a couple bad levels, and Big Story is uh, underrated as heck. Big Story is the best story in the entire game. No cap. Super Sonic Adventure 2, it's a, not as good as the first one, but it's still a really good game. The Sonic and Shadow, actually, I'm gonna move it down a tier, because the Sonic and Shadow stages are like the only good stages of the entire game. Because you've heard this probably a million times, the treasure hunting levels suck. I mean, they're not the worst thing in the world, but I do not like it because of it's difficult, it's like really hard, the radar sucks ass. Oops. So, but yeah, it's not good. The mech stages are all right. Eternal engine's a pain in the butt. Sonic Heroes, pretty mega game. Normal Sonic. Although you have to play through the game for four times in a row to get the final story. Just to be honest, it's like kind of weird. It's kind of like our next game here, Shadow the Hedgehog, Sinking Sonic. It's not a very good game. Shadow has a gun, swears. Where's that? <laughs> but yeah, it's you have to play through the game like 20 times to get the perfect ending or something, like the true ending or whatever. And yeah, and what's in our next game, what some people to be consider to be Sonic Sonic Adventure 3 is Sonic 06. A drown Eggman Sonic. It's not a good game. It's buggy, glitchy. It's just an overall mess. It's like if it's like if your younger brother tried to kick cook waffles one day and then he poured the entire bucket of flour or like whatever thing of flour all over the ground and they told you to pick it up. That's how much of a mess it would be. It is. Sonic and the Secret Rings, Drowning Sonic. 
motion controls like stick is not good like the controls are bad that's some pretty cool concepts except just you know, Sonic and the Black Knight ha su hyper Sonic my favorite Sonic game of all time it's the best one Sonic has a sword what more could you ask for I mean like Sonic with a sword going like a million miles an hour it's but fiction Sonic Unleashed, possibly one of the most overrated Sonic games of all time, Drowning Sonic. Everybody's, this is my re, everybody says, oh, but the daytime stages are so good. The daytime stages, the daytime stages, this and that. It's always the dis daytime stages. I just said dis time stages, oop. Daytime stages is all they talk about. But that's the part where, do, they think we forget that the Werehog existed. And some of the daytime levels aren't even that good. The story is meh. I mean, it's just... It's, the opening cutscene is pretty... is like one of the best in the series, though. Endless Possibilities is not that good, man. Like, it's not good. Yeah, it's really overrated. I remember when it was like, people did not like this game. Those were good times. Sonic Colors. Normal Sonic. Um, really good game. It's remaster sucked for some reason because glitches and bugs and stuff. It's like Sonic 06, but for an actually good Sonic game. But yeah, overall, Sonic Colors has you seen colors once you're finished with the game because you'll have like eight seizures going through the first level. <laughs> Sonic Generations. Sinking Sonic. I, Classic Sonic is a pain in everything that Modern Sonic does. And why do they have Modern Sonic? The 2D platforming sections are so not good. I, I just want to be Sonic, zoom zoom, go fast through like an open world and trick things into believing that I died when I'm 20 feet in the air. And then we got Sonic 4 Episode 1, and people say these are side games, but I don't care. I'm calling them mainline games. Fight me. Drowning Sonic Episode 1 and Sinking Sonic Episode 2. Actually, no, Episode 1, Eggman Sonic. Episode 1 isn't good. Like, it's not good at all. I remember I got Sonic 4 Episode 2 for free. <laughs> And man, it's so much better. They were supposed to make a third one, but it got canceled because of the poor reception of the first two. But yeah. Sonic Lost World, most underrated Sonic game of all time. Super Sonic game. It is so awesome. I don't care if you say that, oh, it just copied off of Mario Galaxy. No, it didn't, because Sega, Sega was originally the ones who came up with the Galaxy, like, Walking on planets in Sonic Adventure 2 for crying out loud. In Meteor Herd, you literally, or as Rouge in one of the stages that's basically Meteor Herd, all you do is just, um, walk around planets. So Sonic had the idea first. Also, it's a cool style. People liked it. Um, not a lot of people liked this game. Best. Second best, third best game of all time. Not of all time, like Sonic. And my monitor shut off. Bow, 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 bow. Then we got Sonic Forces, Eggman, Drowning Sonic. This game was not liked by a by a lot of people because um. Classic Sonic, Classic Sonic, and even more Classic Sonic. Oh, and then there's Classic Sonic, some bugs, glitches. Oh wait, there's one thing I forgot, Classic Sonic. And let's see, what else are we missing? Oh yeah, this one, Classic Sonic. <laughs> Avatar creation was pretty cool though. Sonic Mania, pretty super Sonic if you ask me. It's more super Sonic than super can Sonic. I mean, it's the best classic game, in my opinion. Just, just telling you. It's actually no. I think Sonic One's better. I don't know. 
but yeah, Sonic Mania. Real good game. Christian Whitehead is the GOAT. He should honestly be making more Sonic games. Sonic Mania was pretty good. I like the storyline of like Egg Boys traveling through time and even more stuff. Obviously, just to take on Sonic CD. So, yeah, intro cutscene was a plus. Frontiers. I've never played it, but I've seen videos of it. And it's pretty supersonic, in my opinion. It's like pretty supersonic. I mean, you play a supersonic in the first level, so. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty good. Br brought back the SA2 shoes. Damn sopas. It's a pretty good game looking overall. I've never played it, so I don't know anything. But I know a trick. If you use the Psy Loop and create an infinite symbol out of it, you'll get an infinite boost. Like your boost will be infinite. So you can just zoom zoom through Sonic games. Origins is literally just a collection, so. Um, I'm gonna put it in normal Sonic, just above. Actually, no. It's gonna be Super Sonic. It makes Sonic 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 29, 38 better than they used to be gives you some free game gear games which we'll get into in the next video but anyway that's gonna do it for today if you all enjoyed today's video make sure to like subscribe and hit that bell see y'all next one peace